So before we start this adventure today, this mountain peak behind us, you may recognize from the box of Toblerone. This is the Matterhorn. So the Swiss government has actually made Toblerone change the packaging because they've now taken a lot of the production from Toblerone out of Switzerland and saying that it would be misleading to label it as a Switzerland chocolate when it's not. So it won't be on the chocolate for much longer. Another cool fact that we've found out today is that the Swiss Alps is actually the result of a collision of two continental plates. So Europe and Africa collided and the top of the Matterhorn is actually African rock. That is crazy. Crazy. Oh, baby, never did I think I could feel this hey everyone, welcome back. Last episode, we cruised into Zermatt, settled into our cozy Airbnb for the night, and started our epic ascent to the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise. So there are three points where three separate sections of this that we have to change over twice, but hopefully we get to keep the gondola to ourselves the whole way up. Three. We did not have the second one to ourselves. In fact, it was a very large one that probably fit about 80 people and it was full. But we were the last ones in, first ones out. This one has heated seats, which is good because it's currently zero. <laughs> <laughs> After the three gondolas to the top, we stumbled upon the coolest secret weapon to truly amp up your entire experience. Tucked away here is Europe's highest cinema, the Cinema Lounge. Now, this isn't your popcorn and blockbuster kind of deal. They've got a specially curated 10 minute mini movie that deep dives into the whole creation of the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise. Trust me, Watching this before you explore puts everything into perspective. So yeah, skip the souvenir shop for a sec and make the Cinema Lounge your first stop. I promise you, you won't regret it. Looks cold in there. <laughs> breathe up here <laughs> like I know I'm unfit but I was like 20 stairs and I'm like <laughs> oh. We're this over, over 4,000 meters above sea level <laughs> this time I can blame the altitude the tallest Aussies in the world oh, that's probably someone on Everest <sighs> Jesus I'm not <laughs> check out this view Was worth the entry price alone. <laughs> if we never see Tiff again, we know why. <laughs> I left her in the Swiss Alps. Threw oh, her off. Oh, threw her over the Swiss Alps. <laughs> oh, 
definitely shall have a view for the rest of our life. <laughs> it wasn't as cold up there as it was down here, but very hot to breathe. <laughs> it, was, it was incredibly hot, actually. Yeah. Oh my god. I felt like my scalp was burning. Like, I'm probably gonna have a sunny stand later. Kind of wish I wore short shorts so my legs could get a tan. <laughs> But then I just blend in with the snow, so. But now it's cold again. It is cold. It's right. cold in here. I don't understand. So next up, we're going inside a glacier, um, and there's an ice sculpture exhibit, I guess you can call it. Oh, I'm gonna check. Glacier powder. More elevated. Isn't it crazy that there's lifts 4,000 metres above sea level? Yeah. Uh, that is crazy. I've, I found it where there was flushing toilets. Oh, this is sick. Like we've been shrunk down and we're inside somebody's freezer. <laughs> What's the fastest hike I've ever done? Nah, better not. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the slide. Nice knowing you, Tiffy. <laughs> Into the darkness. I'm not sure how to approach this. Hold it for you. Yep, I got it. <laughs> Alright, ready? Wait. I'll get it. I got this. Alright, you got it. Go. Oh. Don't drop your phone. Going anywhere. <laughs> oh, I'm moving now. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> you good? No, 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 I'm going to get up. Hey. Right, I'm I still can't believe we're in a glacier. <laughs> That's pretty hectic. Like the ice sculptures are cool, but I think the fact that just, you can just walk inside a glacier. That's yeah. pretty sick. They've done a very good job here. Yeah. That was incredible. The views were amazing. It was just, we were talking about some of the things that we've done since we've been traveling and that has to be in our top three, probably top two, getting close to first. <laughs> top two. Top two. <laughs> it was about 180 Australian dollars, but honestly, totally worth it like but through even the gondola rides were just so beautiful getting up to the top and going through the ice sculptures the little cinema rooms just being at four thousand meters above sea level yeah that's just, that's just insane amount of numbers and there's people skiing up there which is crazy but yeah it was pretty hard to breathe up there which we didn't expect which we should have expected because it was four thousand meters above sea level but we're back down on the ground now i'm still finding it hard to breathe 
we're out of pit though. Yeah, <laughs> and we're walking and talking. But yeah, definitely something that you need to check out if you're in Switzerland. So Matt is something else. Oh my God, I forgot about the coolest thing. When you're skiing, you can ski to Italy and then you can just turn around and come back. You just have to make sure that you catch the last lift back up to get back into Switzerland or you're in Italy for the night. But how sick is that? Do you need to take your passport down the slopes? <laughs> Hello, customs officer.